So these two homes are going to get retrofitted and we're here to undertake some tests so we can evaluate the before and after energy efficiency of the homes. So we'll go inside now and learn a little bit more about the tests and some of the issues the retrofits will face. When we insulate buildings, we not only help to improve their energy efficiency, we also make them warmer, more comfortable to live in. We make the surfaces of our buildings warmer as well when we insulate them. But it's really important to make sure that we don't miss any bits out. A common area where we miss insulation when we're retrofitting is awkward locations like above bay windows. So what we're doing in this test house is we're measuring the heat flow and the surface temperatures through this element before and after the rest of the building has been insulated. And that way we can see if any unintended consequences have manifest that might cause moisture problems where you get condensation or damp forming. So a big part of the work that we're doing in this house is looking at some of the problems that can occur when you retrofit homes. We've got an example down here on the ground floor where we're taking surface temperature measurements where the wall and the floor join. The reason we're doing that is externally when you insulate, the insulation will stop where the damp proof course is and in theory should start again below um, the damp proof course. But that doesn't always happen and we're really interested to find out what happens to surface temperatures at this junction when you don't insulate underneath the damp proof course. So externally insulating homes is a really good way to retrofit them to improve their energy efficiency. But there are some problems and a good example is one that we're investigating here in this house. The eaves of the building are around this level and externally if the insulation was to stop here we might have a problem at the top with cold surface temperatures. So what we're investigating is the temperatures that we are achieving right now uninsulated, what we would achieve when they are insulated to here and then if we extend the insulation up through the soffit to make sure that there is no cold surfaces there and we'll do those tests a bit later on. Another interesting area for us to investigate for external wall insulation is the location of windows. Now often when you undertake an external wall insulation retrofit you may not move the windows. This can cause some problems with thermal bridging. So what we're going to be doing is to investigate the impact of moving the window into the external wall insulation layer to ensure we are removing any thermal bridges versus keeping the windows in their existing location.